hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have 4 to the power of x equals 20 okay um we are going to take the log of um, both sides because we cannot express 4 and 20 in the same base so we're going to take the log so we take log 4 to the power of x equal to log 20 okay now there is a law that says log log a to the power of b right remember this a here is not the base log a to the power of b is equal to b log a so if that is the case then this x here can go behind so we have x log 4 being equal to log 20 this is log 20 now what again can we do from here okay let's break this down we have x log 4 which will be equal to log log 4 multiplied by 5 log 4 multiplied by 5 that will give us 20 now i broke i broke it into two this way because we have 4 here so the 4 has to be there i could have used 10 times 2 but there's no 2 here and there's no 4 on the left and there's no um 10 on the left hand side so it has to be 4 times 5 since we have 4 over here now x log 4 here is equal to now we're going to obey one of the laws of logarithm that um, log 4 here log 4 times 5 is the same thing as log 4 plus log 5 okay log 4 plus log 5 is the same thing as log 4 times 5 now the next thing is to divide both sides or divide all through by log 4 divide this by log 4 then i'll divide this by log 4 as well now this is going to go with this and this will go with this meaning that we have x alone being equal to 1 plus log 5 over log 4. Now, this log 5 and log 4 are in the same base, right? So this means we can write it as x being equal to 1 plus, 1 plus log log 5 to base 4 okay so this and this are the same thing right so this becomes the value of x but if you want to use calculator you can press log 5 to base 4 and you get your answer right although it will be in decimal form but now let's put this value back into this equation 4 to the power of x equals 20. So the question is, how do we confirm this? Now, sit back and learn because I'm going to talk about, you know, a couple of things about logarithm. Now, from here, our x is now 1 plus log 5 over 4, right? So I'll write 4 to the power of 1 plus log 5 to base 4. Now, the question is, will this be equal to, will this be equal to um, 20? Now, here's what we will do. Remember that if you have 4 to the power of, um, okay, let's use it later, a to the power of m plus n. Now, this is the same thing as a to the power of m multiply by a to the power of n 
obeying one of the rules or the laws of um, indices. Now, to do the same thing to this, we're going to have 4 to the power of 1 multiplied by 4 to the power of um, log 5 to base 4. This is 4 to the power of 1 multiplied by 4 to the power of um, log 5 to base 4. Okay, now how do we deal with this? This means we are having 4. Remember, 4 to the power of 1 is the same as 4, right? So we have 4 multiplied by this is going to cancel this. And we have, in fact, this will cancel this together. So we have 5 over here. And then we will be having 4 times 5, which is 20. So 20 becomes the answer. And that is what we had on the right hand side of the equation. So we have our 20 and we are having 20 down here. But then let me let me explain this better. If you have um, a to the power of log b to base a, okay, this means that this and this can cancel and your answer will be b. Okay, so that's the same thing I did over here. So this will cancel the whole of this. This will cancel the whole of this and will multiply 4 by 5. Okay, thank you for watching.